Lindsay Phillips. I work under Central Michigan University under my advisor, Daniel Carey. So we're looking at the overall plankton assemblage. So we look at things as small as picoplankton, which tend to be 0.5 to 2 microns, and very, very small, um, to as big as a plankton. So overall, we've had a lot of invasive introductions, right? We have the awesome Lucidin mussels, you know, we have different types of invasive fish, um, and that's changed that plankton assemblage a lot. This plankton assemblage that we look at has not been studied very much. So what we're doing is we're looking at how it's changed pre Dracinid and looking at how it is now and how it's distinct in the What the primary food source is for a lot of the main fish that are all over Lake Michigan and the Great Lakes in general, it's getting depleted. We're assuming it's from the Dracinid mussels. So basically what we're doing is maintaining the data set that we have over the past 30, 40 years and trying to pinpoint where that's coming from. Why is these populations decreasing? I love hanging out on these CSMI cruises. Everyone's so nice. I love that we can collaborate with different labs. We all study different things, but all of our research overlaps. And I really like that we're able to do different collaborations with different people. Go plankton. <laughs>